If you're over 50 and you're suffering with a stiff neck, in today's video, I'm gonna give you five tips to help you relieve it. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm gonna to give you five tips to relieve neck stiffness, particularly for people who have a bad neck in the morning or they struggle with turning their head. Now, stiff necks are incredibly common, especially in the patient population that I treat, the over 50s. And there are two very common causes of a stiff neck. The first one is neck arthritis. And when we talk about neck arthritis, what we mean is wear and tear to the joints, the cartilage and the discs in the neck, which is a natural process of aging. And then the second cause of a stiff neck is what I would call a mechanical neck problem. And this basically means the muscles have become too tight, some of them are working too hard, some of them are not working hard enough, and that has led to a dysfunction of the movement in the neck. So those are the two most common causes and this video is perfect for people suffering with those problems. Now there are other causes of a stiff neck and a few of them are sinister. So if you've noticed a very stiff neck that just isn't shifting, it's definitely worth getting checked out by your doctor before you give the tips in this video a try. So if you've noticed a new onset, of neck stiffness, particularly if you have dizziness or sickness or you've been fainting, it's definitely worth getting checked out. But let's have a look at the five tips. I'm gonna show you five of my favorite ideas to help you loosen up that stiff neck. If you're suffering from a stiff neck, the first thing I would recommend to you is you make sure you're using a proper pillow. We spend a third of our lives in our bed, so it makes sense that if your pillow is not quite right, it's going to lead to a stiff neck. And this is especially the case if you wake up in the morning and you've got neck stiffness. Now I'm gonna introduce one of my favorite pillows for the purpose of relieving neck pain to you. This is the Blue Dot Pillow from Zamat Home. And it's a revolutionary design basically to help people with neck pain. Now you might be looking at it thinking, this is a funny shaped thing, but the reason it's shaped like this is for a specific purpose. The first thing I wanna show you about this pillow is that it's got a dip in the middle, which is where it gets its name, the blue dot. And this dip is specifically for your head. Now you might be thinking it doesn't look very comfortable, but it actually is incredibly comfortable to have your head resting on something that cups and supports it. And the reason this is so important is because it stops your head from moving at night time. Now I had a go of this last night. I found that it kept my head in the same position that I'd put it in when I went to bed as when I woke up, which is amazing for me because I move around all the time. Now it's a lovely pillow for both back sleepers and side sleepers. It has a dip or a groove at the front of it, which allows your neck to sit in. And because there's a slight bulge here, it puts a little bit of traction onto your neck. Now you can see these wing shaped areas on the side too. These are for your arms to tuck under if you're a side sleeper or indeed a front sleeper, which we don't recommend. But if you are one of those people who gets away with sleeping on your front, your arms can go in like this. So I'm gonna show you how the pillow works in a second. The first thing I want to mention about this pillow is, is that it's customizable based on how high you like your pillow to be. So many people, when they get a pillow like this, they say, well, it looks good, but I can't picture myself sleeping on something so tall or something so flat. And this pillow has got you covered either way. If we flip it over and open up the pillowcase that comes with the blue dot, we can see inside we have a layer of memory foam, which is about an inch big, and you can take that layer out if you want to make it flatter. And if you want to make it taller, you can purchase an option which allows you to put an extra layer inside. So it allows you to customize the height and get that height right for the best possible comfort. So I'm gonna show you now how the pillow works and we're gonna watch me demonstrate it and I can show you how it works for front sleepers and side sleepers. So here's the Zamat Home Blue Dot Pillow in action. You can see that I've got it set up so the groove is under my neck and what that does is it just exaggerates that natural curve in my neck and the back of my head, we call it the occiput, which is like a lump of, on the back of your skull, that sits perfectly in that little hole where the blue dot is. And what this does basically is gives you ideal support as a back sleeper 
and that is such a comfortable position. And because my occiput is wedged into that blue dot, if you like, my head doesn't move unless I'm really thrashing around at night time. So it's a lovely position with just a tiny, tiny bit of traction and the memory foam on the pillow just allows you to gently sink into it without disrupting the natural curves in the spine. Now we've got these wings here. Now Zamat reckons that if you're a back sleeper, you can put your arms up into them. I probably wouldn't recommend that just because of shoulder pain for many people, but they are useful when you lie on your side. So the pillow would stay in the same position. And what you would do here is instead of tucking an arm underneath the pillow, you can tuck it between the wing here and the other one like this. And this is a nice comfortable position now for side sleepers. And instead of your, um, your occiput going into the hole here, now actually it tucks quite nicely in to my ear, which is a really nice position to sleep. So this is vastly superior to the kinds of pillows that are just flat. Obviously pillows are very individual, so this isn't gonna work for everyone, but it's definitely worth a try. And many of my patients who've bought one of these pillows from me or a pillow with a nice dip in it like this report that it really, really helped them with their sleep. So that's why I like this product. And if you wanna give it a try, you can have a look below. So that's the Zam at Home Blue Dot Pillow. If you want to grab yourself one of these to try at home, you can use the link below and my discount code, which is in the description, to bag yourself a discount on this product. So that's pillow placement and how to use a pillow at night to help your neck. Let's talk about the next thing. And the next thing is a set of exercises which are super simple, anyone can do them, and it will improve your neck stiffness. Now before I show you them, it's important to note these aren't suitable for everyone. This is general advice only. Make sure you get checked out to see if they're relevant for your circumstances and if they cause you pain, just avoid them. But if all of that is clear, we can have a look at some of the exercises to relieve a stiff neck. Now your neck has got six pure movements. We've got flexion, we've got extension, we've got side flexion to the left, side flexion to the right, and then we've got rotation to the left and rotation to the right. And what I recommend people do when they're trying to loosen up a stiff neck is every hour you take your neck through its full range of motion in those six movements. So again, we're gonna go down like that, and then we're gonna go up just to the point of the edge of stiffness, we're not going into pain, and then we're gonna go down to the left. What we should feel here is a stretch coming down this side. Then we're gonna come back to center. Then we're gonna go down to the right. What we should feel is a stretch coming down the left side. And then we're gonna to rotate to the left, keeping good posture. And then we're gonna to rotate to the right, keeping good posture. Now it's ridiculously simple, but that is enough to loosen a stiff neck for many people. But if that hasn't loosened your neck up enough and you're still stiff, particularly when you turn your head, I've got another exercise which is a great one for you to use. I call this a towel snag, and snag stands for sustained natural apophysial glide. Don't worry about remembering that term. But basically what this is, is an exercise that helps you to turn your head a bit better. So to make it work, you need a towel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the towel into a band like this. So we want it to be a nice tight band and I usually roll the towel about halfway. So you've got a band like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the towel around the back of the neck, just below the level of the head. So where the head meets the neck, we want the towel to be resting just at the top of the neck like that, okay? We start sitting and the first thing you're gonna do is raise the towel up to about mouth level and just gently pull forward. So it should be a nice pressure coming forward on your neck. Then what we're going to do is we're going to choose which way we're going to turn our heads. So I'm going to turn my head to the left. So I'm going to drop the left hand down slightly and I'm going to pull with my right hand as I turn my head to the left. So we turn to the left like that. We pull with the right hand just to the limits of stiffness and then we keep the pressure on and we bring it back to the center. And again, we drop down, we pull and rotate, pulling with the right hand. Remember that pressure stays on the whole time and then back to center. Now this is a lovely exercise because what it does is the towel 
attaches to the area of the neck that turns and it basically as a pulley system helps your neck to turn in one direction so it assists the natural movement so to show you the other way what we would do is we would keep that tension on like that we're going to turn right so we drop the right hand down slightly and now we pull with the left keeping that pressure on so we turn and then come back to the center and when we're coming back to the center we want to keep the pressure on and you might pull a little bit with your opposite hand your right hand just to allow that pressure on the towel to remain on your neck now this is a wonderful exercise for loosening up a stiff neck it works quite quickly so you only need to do about five repetitions several times a day in each direction and it should improve your ability to turn your head now before I show you the next tip, I just want to let you know that 88% of people who watch these videos have not yet subscribed to the channel. So if that's you, make sure you scroll down, hit the subscribe button, it's totally free, and then you'll be the first to hear about our videos when they come out. Now the next thing I'm going to show you to loosen up your stiff neck is a treatment option that doesn't actually involve the neck at all. It actually involves your mid-back. Now your mid-back, we call it the thoracic spine, and its job is to help you rotate, to help you bend and to extend, and it keeps you in a proper posture. So if you see someone who's got a rounded shoulders like that, that's usually a problem with the thoracic spine. And the problem with a rounded shoulders posture is it makes your neck do that, which can give you a stiff neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on a nice gentle exercise to improve your thoracic mobility and again it's very very simple all we're going to do this time is we're going to sit comfortably with our hands on our legs we're going to reach over with one hand to the other side and we're just going to use our hand to pull and twist our back around and then come back to normal so again swap the hand over you're going to pull and twist and then come back to normal and I would just recommend you do five or six of these in each direction you should feel like a pulling sensation in your mid back I'm keeping my neck neutral so my neck is moving with my shoulders so it shouldn't put any strain on the neck but it's a lovely way to loosen up that mid back and if the mid back is looser then the neck becomes looser as a result because if the mid back can't move the neck has to compensate and that can lead to pain so that's another great way to loosen up your neck even though we're not directly treating the neck and then the final tip I've got for you today is to use heat on your neck so heat is a wonderful treatment modality if you've got stiffness because it loosens up tight muscles and it loosens up stiff joints so what I usually recommend people do is get a wheat cushion or a neck warmer or a scarf or something they can heat up pop it on their neck and then allow it to sit there for about 15, 20 minutes to keep that neck warm. You'll notice that when you're cold, your neck probably feels stiffer. So when you're warmer, your neck will feel looser. Now there's no limit to how much you can treat your neck with heat. You can put the heat on for 20 minutes as many times per day as you like. I tell my patients to try and put hot water bottle on their neck whenever they're sat down, if it's practical to do so. And over time, that leads to a major improvement. So those are five simple tips to relieve a stiff neck. I hope you found this video useful. If you give them a try and you find them helpful, please do drop a comment below and let us know. And if you want to get more from me, we've got loads of tips like this one in my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll speak to you on the next video.